New at 10, the Napa County Sheriff's Office has a warning for people heading out to Lake Berryessa this weekend following the drowning of a 16 year old. KTV's Amber Lee met with sheriff's officials who took her out to a popular area where many drownings have taken place to talk about these dangers. Just checking in, make sure everything's good. You guys got life jackets and all that kind of stuff. A patrol team with Napa County Sheriff's Office is at Lake Berryessa to educate people about safety on the water. This recreational area is alluring on hot summer days and especially during the July 4th holiday weekend. Great, warm, clean water, beautiful mountain views. But the water is deceptively deep and dangerous. Not getting in the water if you're if you're drinking or using drugs and wear a life jacket. That's my that's the biggest one. Napa County Sheriff's Office tells me there's been 11 drownings here at Lake Berryessa since 2019. Six of them have taken place here in an area known as Oak Shores. And it was somewhere right out in that area. And that's where the most recent drowning of a 16 year old boy was on Monday, a popular spot for visitors with picnic tables and parking close by. Authorities say there was another drowning in this area exactly one year ago on the same date. June 27th. You go to get into the water, you're standing in two feet of water. You take a step, you're, you're standing in 10 feet of water. Uh, it's a slope, but there's drop offs um, and, you know, anything can happen when you get in here. The family of Demetrio Perriot of Fairfield tells me he was an incredible athlete and excelled in baseball, but he was not a strong swimmer. According to the sheriff's office, a witness says Perriot had brought two rafts here when the wind blew one into the reservoir. Perriot got on one raft to retrieve the other, but fell into the water. With the help of a robot known as a ROV, remote operated vehicle, this deputy helped recover Perriot almost exactly 24 hours after the teen fell in. The operation involved a team of divers and sonar technology. It's sending a signal out, it's hitting something, and it's bouncing back, and it's giving the uh, screen here something to read, because our lake is so, uh, so murky, uh, you can't really see anything. Sheriff's officials say life jackets are the difference between life and death, and they're available for free here at Lake Berryessa. We wouldn't be out here uh, on a lot of these if people had been wearing life jackets. The Perriot family says it is grateful to the first responders and the chaplain during this difficult time, and that they want the teen to be remembered as one of the gentlest, kindest, and most headstrong people around. Amber Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News.